All right, so DX7S and system exclusive. First, let's enable it for system exclusive communication. Hit your edit button, and then your button 32. Exclusive should be on, okay? Hit the 32 again, and you've got device ID. That should be set to one. Receive block should be set to, well, really depends on where you want your patches to go. There are 64 internal memories, whether you want the first block of 32 or the block of 32 to 64, it's up to you. Mine is set to one from 32, obviously. Um, <clears throat> now let's go to um, hit button 31, and then we're gonna get a couple times, then we're gonna get MIDI receive channel, which should be set to one. And then you've got to disable your internal memory protect, which would be button 14. Hit that a couple times and set that memory protect to off. Done. Okay, now the part where it might get a little tricky. I hope your system exclusive player has the transmit speed settings. I set this thing to 50%. Why? Because DX7S is much smarter than the DX... Well, no, I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't work that great if you set it to 100%. So, um, fortunately, SysX Librarian lets you do that. Now, which banks can the DX7S load? It can load all Mark I banks. That is, if the Mark I, the Brownie, or anything with that engine, you know, TFI modules, TX7, DX5, whatever. Um, if they can load it, DX7S, and of course, DX7 FD and D can load it as well. So, whatever you find on the web, if it works with your brown front panel, DX7, and all the aforementioned stuff, it'll work with a DX7S just fine. So here's one of the VRC cartridges. Um, you can find in the all the web collection just you know search google dx7 all the web you'll find it and that's pretty much as it is it's it you know it's all the web stuff and you can you know lots of folders lots of stuff uh, lots of studios that have assembled compiled their whatever dx7 libraries and reorganized them anyway enough of my rambling here's the friggin play button here we go and now you gotta make sure. I mean, it loaded just fine, beautifully. As it says, percussion. Now, sometimes, and I don't know, that's kind of an obvious thing, but what can happen is you can accidentally hit that A, B button. And this, of course, puts you in another bank. Just make sure you're in the right spot, all that stuff. Let's try another bank for no good reason. All right, sustain group, whatever. Here we go. By the time I move my fat ass across the room, it's been loaded. Beautiful. Now, one more thing. It's always a little caveat. DX7S, because it's so sophisticated, completely nukes your mod wheel, your aftertouch, your breath. So anything that's not the pitch band, these settings are going to be gone. Um, there are ways to deal with that. I've got system exclusive faders in Logic that allow me to re-enable that stuff fairly quickly. Otherwise, it's a lot of fun in editing and menu browsing and hitting the same friggin' button over and over again. I guess somebody at Yamaha thought that that's a good idea. Anyhow, like and subscribe. <laughs>